Millen here from Tesla Taxi. Just a quick demonstration of the Navigate on Autopilot. So we'll have to tap our gear selector stalk to go through these lights when they turn green. And we're then about to enter the freeway. We've got the navigation set to the Gold Coast Chargers just to give us a destination. So Navigate on Autopilot will enable once we get onto the freeway. Click down on the gear selector to go through these green lights, but if they turn yellow or red as they just did, it will cancel your decision to proceed as we just saw there. And again, when this light actually changes green, these lights will change green, but this red line will stay red until I actually hit the gear selector stick over here to proceed through the green light. So we'll enter the freeway now. Sometimes with these mergers, the car can be a little bit goofy, so it is up to you as the driver to make sure that you keep control of the situation and take over as necessary, as we just demonstrated there. It will go around this bend, but if you start from the other lane on that particular intersection, you have a better time of that particular interaction. This merge here should run relatively smoothly. You'll notice we now have this solid line down the middle. That means that the car will actually be navigating the exits for us and doing the lane changes. So you do need to confirm lane changes just by touching the steering wheel and uh, the car will do the lane change when safe to do so from that point. So it's left the indicator on there, which is again a bit goofy, so you can cancel that just by pressing down on the indicator yourself. This will keep us going straight ahead to the Gold Coast now. However, I will be wanting to demonstrate on this video how it actually takes the exit. So I'll actually end this particular trip, let it pass this exit, and then give a new destination so that it will navigate an autopilot off the freeway at the next exit. So we should be able to demonstrate that in just a moment. Take me to Sunnybank. Take me to Sunnybank. So you'll notice the blue line is back and it will be directing us off this exit. So again, you just need to have your hand ready to take over if needed and confirming to the car that you are there and it can safely make those lane changes to get into the right lane. In this particular case, left hand lane ready for this exit hopefully it doesn't hit this, whatever that is. And you'll notice the two lines now that it's exited the freeway means that it won't actually take any more action for us to change lanes now that we're actually off the freeway. So we can just let the car proceed through here. If it was going, I just tapped the accelerator there because the car didn't want to proceed for some reason. And we're just going to go up onto this lane that we're already in. So I haven't actually taken the car out of autopilot yet, but it isn't taking any decisions while it's got those edge lines as opposed to the center line. The center line is the only time that it will actually be taking exits from freeways or essentially making any decisions other than staying in lane. So it handled that all right, but it didn't put an indicator on. So it's just something to be aware of when you're interacting with traffic to take over from the car if it's not acting appropriately in the situation. Hopefully it'll stick in the right lane here and take us around this bend, which was all good. Let it go through these lights and so far so good. A little bit goofy, but not too bad. And once we get back onto the freeway, it should put that central line back up on the screen indicating that it is back on navigate on autopilot so from that exit from the freeway we didn't actually take it out of autopilot we just happened to be in the right the correct lane all the way through to let the car do all of the steering and um, all of the basically braking and accelerating other than that one time where i did tap the accelerator pedal because it was getting a bit confused there next to the service station and it has also selected the correct speeds all the way through this particular interaction. And in just a moment, we should be able to get back onto the freeway without having to take over. And probably a little bit faster than I would have selected here, so I'll just bump that down until we get back on the actual freeway. 
this right hand scroll wheel will adjust your speed if you go the full turns like that it'll be five kilometers at a time and I think I do actually need to take over here I oh, know maybe it's gonna do it I've been past this part of the town before with navigating autopilot so that's relatively impressive hopefully it doesn't hit this car and we're good to go and we're back on the freeway you can also go to current speed by just tapping the speed there and that'll take you up to whatever speed the road has signed at the time and again just touch the steering wheel every time it flashes so it knows that you're here and that's merging back on to the freeway relatively well and so in front of that other car hopefully he's okay with that but that's a bit of a demonstration on what you can do with the FSD version of the software here in Brisbane, Australia in February 2023, teslataxi.com.au if you'd like to rent a Tesla with standard autopilot, enhanced autopilot, also known as EAP, or FSD, also known as full self-driving, which is the version we've currently got enabled on this car. Thank you.